We should stay together, Tundra. Assuming your brother's identity will certainly draw attention. Not all of it welcome. You are right, Smoke. But assuming Bihan's identity is the best way to honor him. Let us proceed, then. Sub-Zero. We should separate. Our fellow Lin Kuei will not be far behind once our absence is discovered. If only they had been more forthcoming with the details of your brother's demise. We will find Shang Tsung. He will tell us all he knows. If he killed Bihan, he will die. Be stillful as the night. And deadly as the dawn. The Emperor was wise to send me here. The Lin Kuei do walk uninvited in his realm. Wise though your Emperor might be, he was foolish to send his housemaid to interfere with Lin Kuei business. I am Kitana, Princess of Outworld, and I deal harshly with sharp-tongued intruders. Okay, Smoke, I don't think calling her a housemaid may not be the smartest thing to do. But yeah, anyway guys, welcome back to Mortal Kombat 9. It's time for Chapter 7, where we play as Smoke. Another one of my favorite characters to play as. This guy is really fun to use, because he has this awesome teleport, which is awesome. He also has that smoke cloud, which is pretty cool. Just watch. That is just really awesome. So yeah, I really love this character. So yeah, I love smoke. Well, the character, not the um, smoking smoke. Seriously, kids, or anybody who's watching this Let's Play, no smoking, please. Seriously, smoking is bad for you. You could get cancer, and you can die. So yeah. Anyway, so... We're fighting Katana again, and she freaking breakered one of my attacks. That's kind of weird, but, um, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, shit. I'm sorry, guys, I'm kind of lost. But, yeah, we're fighting Katana again. So, yeah, we're fighting her because Smoke just called her a housemaid. Yeah, seriously, calling someone like that a housemaid, you're gonna get your ass whooped. And... Sadly, Katana's not doing very good on that. Yeah. Anyway, that's Katana in a nutshell. Where there is smoke, there is fire. Sleep well, princess. You may tell your fellow Black Dragon that I am very interested in your merchandise. Shang Tsung. I'll take care of him. No charge. One dead Lin Kuei in a tick. Crikey! Why is my Australian accent so awesome? But, yep, now we're fighting Kano again. Now, in the last two chapters, he was no pushover. But now, he is really good this time. He's definitely worked. And, of course, that's his typical choking thing. It's really, really weird. He also has the uh, iconic cannonball attack. But yeah. Also, I totally forgot to mention, smoke can also turn invisible. So yeah. But yeah, anyway, we're in the, um, living forest. Funny fact, for anybody who played Mortal Kombat 2, smoke is a secret character you can fight in MK2, and it's always gonna be in the living forest. And whenever you play in the living forest, Smoke will actually spy on you from time to time. Yeah, it also happens too in this game. So sometimes you can find Smoke in uh, in one of the trees. And 
And those trees are just creepy as hell. And oh man, that was super close. Yeah, Kano's been working out lately ever since I whooped his ass as Sonya. Which was in chapter 2. But yeah. Also, Smoke has a really cool x-ray move. Kano also has one too, but he hasn't even pulled it off. But yeah. But yeah, I really like uh, Smoke's appearance. So, so yeah. Ah, uh, and he freaking blocked my x-ray. Wish I could show you that x-ray. That would be awesome. So... Yeah. Anyway... Come on. And there goes Kano. Stay down. I would have words with your associate. Tell me what you know of Sub-Zero's death. What? Despite his failure at my tournament, I'll wager he was more powerful than you, Lin Kuei. Assuming his form will not give you his skill, Shapeshifter. Let us see if Smoke can freeze. Okay, now that is just cowardly, Shang Tsung. But, yeah, anyway, so now we're having a tag fight. We're fighting Sub-Zero. Well, technically, it's actually Shang Tsung in disguise. But he's gonna be fighting as Sub-Zero all the time. And, of course, he's being teamed up with Reptile. And Reptile this time is actually very good this time. That's since uh, we really whooped his ass in Chapter 1. So, yeah. These guys are really good. And Reptile blocked my x-ray. And yes, Reptile can turn invisible too. I can turn invisible too. And I have a hard time trying to pull off the invisible move. It's really weird. And of course, I just love that teleport. It's awesome. Boom, boom. Yeah, I, I just love that combo. Throw a smoke cloud at him and then pull off an uppercut. Unfortunately, so you're. Oh shit. That's how Paul's trying to kill me. Yeah, they got me. <laughs> oh, that is just so funny. <laughs> Oh my god, I just- I love Reptile. Come to think of it, once this Let's Play is done, I think I'm gonna do Ladder Mode. Maybe I can use Reptile. I mean, I actually really want to show off Reptile, because he's awesome to play as. So yeah. So yeah. Oh boy, that teleport is just on- Oh yeah. Ah, oh, damn it! He freaking blocked. He freaking dodged my X-ray again. I really love Smoke's X-ray. It's actually my second favorite X-ray. Oh crap! Ouch! Okay, that can lead to some serious brain damage. I really want to pull off my own X-ray. Oh boy. Smoke is actually pretty fast with that teleport. That that teleport is fast. Also, I really love Reptile's blood. It's all green. But yeah. Don't you block my smoke cloud. Oh man, that combo kicks ass. And I don't know if I'm gonna live that long. Let's see if I can beat let's see if I can beat them. Come on. And of course, Reptile has that acid sl uh, slide. Oh man, oh boy. And he turned him. Oh crap, he break on my attack. Okay, come on. X ray, X ray, X ray. Yes! Oh yeah. Oh, watch this. This is awesome. Oh, right in the nose. No. See ya. Now answer me. What do you know of Sub-Zero? <clears throat> what? Smoke. You have disobeyed the directive to remain at the Lin Kuei Temple. Sector? You 
will return with us to begin your transformation. You actually did it. You're a cyborg. We are the Liu Kuei. More stealthful than the night. More deadly than the dawn. Whoa! Is that Sector? What are they doing? So yeah, this is actually Sector's primary costume. This is his default costume. So yeah, basically that was uh, what we saw last time was his um, alternate costume, which is human Sector. So yeah, this is the true Sector. He is now a cyborg. Now I just wanted to pull off the X-ray because I wanted to show you something really weird about uh, these cyborgs. Also, I just love how they sound. Hit them. It's just fun. Yeah, it's really cool. Especially when you uppercut them. Yeah, hear that? That is just awesome. And of course, Sector is still annoying as hell. He still has that teleport. I mean, my teleport is ten times better than his. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. And of course, he also. Smoke also has this ability that can evade attacks, which is pretty fun to use. And I'm trying to see if I can get it. Nope. I didn't. So yeah, let's. So yeah, basically the Lin Kuei is turning everyone into cyborgs, and Sector has warned them. Anyway, I will see you guys next time in Mortal Kombat. Bye. I will never submit. There is great energy nearby. Um, Ray Dude? They must not take him. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Raiden. I am called Smoke. Why are you here in Outworld? To participate in a tournament to save Earthrealm. Join us, Smoke. Forgive me, but if Sector was searching for me, he is hunting Sub-Zero as well. Sub-Zero? Call me crazy with a K, but didn't we see him die? The Grand Master intends to turn every Lin Kuei into a cyborg. My friend is in danger. The tournament. I have a feeling your friend will be there. Then let us go. Sub-Zero's soul depends on it. <laughs>